Hi there, my name is Lonnie Ayers, President of Savvy Dev Consulting, and today I want to show you a couple more functionalities of the Solution Map Composer, which is one of my primary tools when I'm designing a solution for a customer. You, you've seen me in the past, I, I've been working with the Airline Solution Map because that's one of my key industries. First thing I want to show you is, is that the, you can save off in various formats depending on wh where you save from in this product. And so one of the things to know is if I start the file using this tool and go save loaded map as, you'll note the I can do it PowerPoint, document, whatever, which is usually usually pretty useful. But I still don't have anything up there. If I go here, um, I get a slightly different set of presentations. They're about the same. But depend. this is typically going to be PowerPoint that you want to open. Okay, And we're going to put we're going to create a solution map of the airlines. We'll call this dash one because I did one for rehearsal in another show. And this takes a minute to process, so we may have a little bit of moment of silence here. But I want you to notice is that um, what what's going to happen is this little progress bar right here is going to work hard for a while, and then in a few minutes, a few seconds, we're going to see PowerPoint open up. And if you're doing one of these on your own, you should leave PowerPoint alone because it needs to be open for it to do the formatting. Um, and compatibility between different versions of PowerPoints, it really depends on what version of the Solution Map Composure you got. But as a rule, when this is done, you may have to go back and you know retouch it a little bit to get the formatting right. But the, the, the meat of the information will be there to be well formatted. So we're about halfway done with it, 52%. You can see it processing. And over here, what I tell you that PowerPoint uh, would open up and you'll see it flash every once in a while. And we're progressing. Who knows what kind of auto magic is working in the background to make us do this, but it's a tool that's actually been out there for a very long time. And I don't want to mess with anything else while it's going because it tends to not be very tolerant because um, we'll go exploring uh, in, in perhaps another video. Okay, we're up to about 65%. Seventy percent. I'd call this the lazy man's way to doing a PowerPoint, but it's actually doing a very good job for us, and it's gonna, it saves you a lot of time when you're trying to pull together a presentation and explain to someone well, this is what's actually available in the box uh, from SAP. That uh, if no one else has explained it to you, uh, can be very helpful for, to let you know that well, actually, there's many many processes that you probably are not fully implementing in your particular landscape. That's about 77%, 79%, and uh, see how we're doing here. And there we go. It says it's done. Let's see if we can get down there and uh, get Vizzle. Hopefully she'll just fire right up. I put over downloads. Remember, I said dash one. So this is the output of that of that process there. And of course, this is 2008. I apologize for the age of it, but uh, uh, I have no need to update it, so it, it works fine. It basically it's, hasn't changed much. So what you end up here then is the SAP produced uh, solution map for the airline industry. Let's just expand that a little bit. And you can come through and explore it, and somebody will need to interpret to you. But basically, it's swim lanes. It tells you what. What business processes are supported um, and who and who does it? Uh, different analytics, of course. At the bottom is always talking about the core, and it's always handy to go through these because there's a lot of industry-specific knowledge. But if you just think about what happened, we waited for a few seconds and it produced this uh, nice, beautiful map. We go in here and once in, I want to get through the back. You can always do this yourself. And one of the other videos I showed you how to get uh, scenario or KPIs in this one, it's all about how to get business objectives or meet business objectives in particular scenarios. So a lot of cross-referencing you can do here. And it's really a great uh, reminder. Again, it's Lonnie Ayers, Savvy W Consulting, and thank you.